What's up, everybody? Welcome back once again to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that like and subscribe button. So, we actually got some good news now to report. Looks like we got more casting for Superman Legacy coming out, I believe, in 2025. So, let's go ahead and jump straight into the Superman Legacy cast Skyler Gisando as Jimmy Olsen. Not gonna lie, he really does look like Jimmy Olsen. Maybe if his hair was a little bit more messy without the, it being straight, perfect. So let's get into it. So, James Gunn's Superman movie is another step closer to being up, up, and away. The inaugural DC Studios feature continues its casting spree post-actor strike and has now added two key members of the Man of Steel supporting cast. Skylar Gisando, excuse me, known for his work on HBO's The Righteous Gemstones, has been cast as Jim Yolson, the boyish club photographer at The Daily Planet, who works alongside Clark Kent and Lois Lane. I never understood why this character was killed off in um, Superman uh, versus Batman. It didn't make any sense. Anyway, says here, at the same time, Sarah Sapil, the Portuguese model known for her Victoria's Secret work, has been cast as Eve Teshmacher, the assistant and sometimes mistress to the scheming villain Lex Luthor. I think she, I think they had an actress star as her uh, in the early to no, I'm sorry, uh, early 80s film. I could be wrong. The pair joins leads. I'm sorry, the pair joined lead David Corn Sweat as Clark Kent slash Superman and Rachel. Who I can't pronounce your name, last name. I'm sorry, as Lois Lane with the actor strike ending. The feature will shoot early next year and it is still set for its July 11th, 2025 release date. I uh, definitely will be in theaters to see this. Might try to open tonight, but I'll probably have to wait for the weekends. Jack Larson played Jimmy Olsen in the first Superman TV show in the 1950s, Adventures of Superman, while Mark McClure portrayed Jimmy in 1978 Superman and its three sequels. Decades later, Sam Huntington played him in 2006 Superman Returns. Zack Snyder cast Michael Cassidy as... Jimmy and Batman vs. Superman, Donald Justice 2016. Though the character was a CIA operative posing as a photographer and was quickly quickly killed off. Didn't make sense to me at all. Teshmacher was not a comic book creation, but rather made her debut in Richard Donner's Superman and was played by Valerie Prang. Superman Legacy is shaping up to be one of the most consequential superhero movies in years, and it has a lot riding on it. It will launch a new DC universe overseen by Gunn and his DC studio co-head, James Saffron. Gisando, also known from Olivia's Wilde's Booksmart, has superhero experience in the Andrew Garfield-led Amazing Spider-Man films. He played Howard Stacy, brother of Emma Stone, <clears throat> Gwen Stacy. He is ripped by UTA in uh, Untitled. So, I mean, he does look like Jimmy Olsen. I know sometimes people could probably be like, well, this guy doesn't look the part. But it's not until you actually see them in the movie that they actually, you know, you get to see it all play out. And I'm getting more and more interested in this Superman legacy film the more I see it, you know, information pop out. My only question is, is this movie going to be too overstuffed with characters? I, mean, I know that's one thing that a lot of people have been talking about. Is it going to be like cameos left and right? We're going to have to wait and see. But, you know, I guess the castings have been cool. I know the picture of uh, Corner Sweat has everybody kind of giving, uh, everybody has been talking about um, Henry Cavill with the Corner Sweat photo that they recently dropped because it does give off vibes with him with his head down and his hair kind of looking curly and he in a, a tracksuit, you know, getting muscular for the new Superman movie. And then, of course, you got the photo from the movie uh, I believe the first Superman, Man of Steel, and, um, you know, it kind of gives off vibes, but this is um, James Gunn Vision, so we're going to have to roll with it and see what he does. Uh, fingers crossed that it's going to be a good movie, and he'll have all his ducks in a row by the time the movie drops. So, yeah, I post your comments down below. Yeah, let me know what y'all think of this casting. Let me know what y'all think of the other castings. Um, does it look promising? Does it look interesting? Post, your co post those comments down below. I'll check you out in the next video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you're new here. And if you're coming back, please smash the like button. Um, if anybody wants to donate to the channel, the link will be in the description box below. I appreciate every last one of my subscribers. Please keep watching. 
my videos and my live streams. I'm trying to work my way up to 4,000 watch time hours next year. As of this video, I'm currently sitting at 970 watch time hours. So I'm about like 30 hours away from hitting 1,000, which is my goal by the end of this year. So please keep watching. Watch all the way to the end. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you out in my next video. Peace. I'm out.